In this video, we are going to look at the Boyer Moore horse pull algorithm, which is a string matching algorithm. So, given as text, we need to find whether this pattern exists in that, whether this pattern exists above text or not. So, in this algorithm, the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a bad match table. Bad match table is, is created based on the pattern that we have. To calculate this, we need to create the table with the characters of the pattern in this case it would be a b c d and the star mean that the length of the pattern we do not consider the last character in the pattern so i want to fill this bad match table which is also called as the bad character shift table okay why do we need this is what we're going to see let's try to create the table so what we need to do is we need to look at the first we need to look at the indexes of the pattern so what we are going to do, we are going to take the length of the pattern that is 8 minus the position of A which is 0 minus 1 which, is, which gives us 7. So we are going to put A as 7. Similarly, we will go ahead and do for B also. So 8 minus 1, 6. This is going to be 6. So this is for B. Now we go for C. 8 minus, minus 1 which is 5. This is 5. For D, again, we do the same thing. It's 4. The star becomes the length of the pattern, which is 8. Now, we encounter A again. So, if we do A again, we need to do 8 minus 4 minus 1, which is 3. So, we replace whatever value we had earlier with the new value now. So, this goes... And we have 3 here. The same thing goes for B. B becomes now 8 minus 5 minus 1, which is 2. And then C becomes 1. Okay. So that's how we create the bad match table. What this particular table will do is the horse pool algorithm is going to look at this table whenever there is a mismatch. Okay. So in this case, whenever there is a mismatch, from the text of the pattern, let's say there's a mismatch at y and d. So we are going to look at the d value. The mismatch at, at y and d. There's a mismatch. So we check the value of d in the bad match table, which is 4 here. It means we need to shift the entire pattern 4 steps ahead. Okay, that's how we do it. In this way, we are going to skip a lot of comparisons, which we do. So let's try to do this now. So I've written the text again here. So that's the text and that's the pattern. Let's see how it works. So these are the indices of the text and the pattern. So the first thing that we need to do is horse pull algorithm starts from the back. It's from right to left. Okay. So we need to remember this. We compare the last character of the pattern with the text and then we decide how many shifts we want to do towards based on the bad match table okay so that's what we're going to do now I have the text I put the pattern below it so that's the pattern the first thing that we need to compare is D with Y so we check D with Y it's a mismatch so now we know that in any way the, this particular pattern is not it's never going to be because we already found a bad we already found a character which doesn't, doesn't does not match so ideally, we do not need to compare each and every of these elements. But the thing is, there are something that already matches, right? And there are things that there is a partial pattern already existing, right? So we need, there could be a pattern now that starts from this particular A, correct? So we need to skip these four. Now, th the, the number four is coming, comes from this particular value from the bad match table. So we found a mismatch, we come here, we check the value of D in the bad match table, which is 4. Now we shift our pattern from Y, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. We come here. Now this is the new. This is the new comparison that we will have from here. Okay. And we have successfully skipped 4 patterns here okay, from the bad match table. Now we check the last letter again. We find A and Y, which is again a mismatch. So we check the value of A in the bad match table. It is 3. So 
we move three steps ahead. That is one, two, and three. So this is the new new positions that we need to check for comparisons whether the string exists or not. Right. So three steps from because of y value was three. One, two, three. Now again we see there's a mismatch. D check the value of D in the bad match table. It's four. Switch four, move ahead by four. One, two, three, four. Right. This is the string from this position. Now we check D. Again, there's a mismatch. Again, four steps ahead. One, two, three, and four. We come at the last position. Now it matches. Once it matches, we move one step back. We check whether there is a mismatch or match. It matches again. Come back. It matches. This also matches. This also matches. This matches. This matches. And this. So now we have successfully found the pattern in that particular string. But remember, we skipped so many comparisons. We skipped four here. Then we skipped three. Then we skipped four again. Then again four. So we skip four, four, three, and four. so we skip these many comparisons, and then we found this particular pattern. So this is the boyer moore horse pool algorithm that can successfully find the pattern in the text by skipping, by smartly sk skipping and moving the pattern towards the right based on the bad match table. That's how this algorithm works. I hope you understood it. That's it for this video. Thank you.